d n o x Life Blogs. Season 3, Episode 5 High Rent and Inflation Rant. Hello, everyone. This is d n o x speaking once again. I'm not sure if I ever showed this hat in camera, but here it is the Kirby hat that I just got like a few months ago for my last birthday. Yep. Anyway, so the topic we're going to be talking about in this final d n o x Life Vlogs. Here in 2023, yep, this is a new DSX archive video. Basically, I'm gonna be expressing my concerns on rent prices of houses, of apartments these days because I think it really needs to be addressed at this point. A lot of people have been talking about it as well, but I have a huge concern about the future of the economy to be honest because, like, it's like inflation, it's just Doesn't want to stop, it just w a n t to keep going up and up and up. Houses are getting more expensive, and down payments are getting a lot more expensive for the average person. Like, you need to really gather up to $20,000 or more for a down payment these days, and most people are not prepared for that, to be honest. And then they have to end up living in apartments that actually charges you for only a one bedroom apartment, a studio apartment, sometimes over $1,000, $1,500, $2,000 a month or more. Yes, a friend of mine's, I'm not gonna mention her name for privacy reasons, but she is paying, a, a very good friend of mine's, she's paying $2,300. Every single month for rent just to stay there at their house, at their place, just so they could be able to have a shelter. And then, after all that, even the income that they earn for their wages, their minimum wage job, or their okay wages job. Because let's be honest, if you're getting paid under $20 an hour in the United States of America, very, very likely you are not gonna be able to afford rent. And if you could afford rent, you could barely even afford to eat. Yes, that's the thing. How you're going to enjoy your life, how you're going to build wealth if the wages are not keeping up with inflation, when things of everything is going up, but yet what we earn for our jobs, which is supposed to back in the day, we could have lived with that, with working a job and be able to live with a decent income, be able to save for retirement. Be able to pay rent or a mortgage or anything like that and still have a lot of money left over after that. That's what we all deserve if we actually worked, if we actually have a job and stuff like that. But nowadays, a lot of people are not motivated to work these minimum wage jobs because they can barely even pay rent. Like these jobs are not paying enough. These companies, these big companies like Walmart and all that stuff, and I do like shopping at Walmart, but Doesn't matter. A lot of these big companies are super greedy. They want to maximize profit at the expense of the people working the bottom. It's like you work so hard in everything that you do, but you get so little pay because the rich people w a n t to pay as little money as possible for the people working under them. And it is capitalism and stuff like that. And then this whole greed and economy and inflation, all that stuff, is what's making these people working minimum wage jobs that's actually living in an apartment and not living with their parents barely be able to pay rent and then they can barely eat. Because you're like, okay, you earn like $15 an hour and all that stuff. And you think that, oh, in Puerto Rico is very good. No, it's not. Not anymore. It used to be good. But it's not enough for you to live. Like, I work multiple jobs. I've been saving money quite a bit. But the only reason why I'm able to do that is because I live with mom and dad. And I choose to this at this point. Because the rent is so damn high. And you can't even justify paying over $2,000 a month for rent. Like, how you're going to pay for everything else?、And、sometimes the rent doesn't even include the water and the electricity as well. Sometimes you have to pay that separately. You have to pay the internet separately. You have to pay your phone. You have to pay for groceries. You have to pay for all these essentials. And then, what do you have left over to, for you to enjoy yourself? For a minimum wage worker, barely nothing whatsoever. You gotta be making over $25 to $30 an hour or more. In order to get by, to simply get by, be able to pay all the bills that you have for the month, and then whatever you have left over, you could still have some left over to enjoy yourself or to save money for the future. But if you're working a job 
where you only get paid like 15 or less dollars an hour and then you live in an apartment that charges you a hundred dollars a thousand dollars or more a month so basically like how you're going to survive barely you're gonna barely survive if you work a minimum wage job paying 15 or less dollars an hour and then you're expected to pay a thousand to two thousand dollars of rent every single month and after taxes and health insurance and all that stuff gets subtracted from your paycheck you're gonna have like 30 percent less or more left over for your take-home money like let's just say you earn forty thousand dollars a year your take-home will probably be like thirty two thousand dollar thirty three thousand dollar maybe even less than that i have no idea it all depends on the income taxes where you guys are living pretty much because and if you have to pay like a year let's just say you pay two thousand dollars of rent every single month how much is it times 12. yes it's over twenty four thousand dollars and remember it's not accounting that you could probably have to pay water electricity grocery and all that stuff separately from all that and then that adds up as well and plus any subscription based services that you have piling up as well and sometimes you forget some of them you're not gonna have nothing left you're just gonna be living paycheck to paycheck at this point and i hate the whole idea of living paycheck to paycheck which is why i refuse to pay rent this high like if the rent was maybe 300 400 a month or something like that under 15 dollars an hour living wage or wage that i have whatever i could kind of justify that because yeah i have a place to stay i'll still have plenty to be able to spend on electricity on internet on water on groceries and anything else that i need and i'll still have left over for savings or if i want to buy something that i enjoy or just have fun you know enjoy life that's how it should always be but unfortunately if you're still working a minimum wage job stop depending on it solely do not depend solely on minimum wage you got to be able to have other streams of income apart like but the problem is also sometimes minimum wage worker they work overtime they get so exhausted their jobs and i can see why they are not that motivated to do anything else or be able to build other streams of income because like this work really exhausts them they want you to be stuck in the plantation like a cog in a machine and this is disgusting man that's why i refuse to pay rent of any sort that is inflated as it is right now unless my wages are over 25 or more dollars an hour and it's really hard to find that type of job here in puerto rico or even in the states yeah unless you are specialized in something unless you are someone special you have connections with people that you can get a job that is 30 dollars or more but you also have to keep in mind that you're gonna have more responsibilities as well so sure yeah life is hard life is difficult for the average person for sure but why is it that for a lot of rich people out there life is actually a lot easier for them and they have more than enough disposable income to save for whatever and they don't have to work hard at all and it comes to show that you working hard at the bottom does not make you rich does not guarantee you success because if you're working for someone that's greedy that wants to pay you very little to nothing for your labor then how you're gonna be able to pay for a place to stay how you're gonna pay for rent like i feel bad for this friend of mine because like when she said she could barely eat at all because they're paying really high rent prices there in arizona i decided to give her some extra money so she can eat because honestly it seems that she barely can eat and she's you know getting skinnier i'm not gonna say who it is i want to keep it private but like i said it's disgusting that how much struggle people have to go through today because inflation was so high because the value of the money is so crappy right now they kept printing money during the pandemic and then after that after people felt so comfortable staying in their place without having to pay rent and then it started accumulating piece by piece little by little their rent prices become astronomically high that they don't justify and then they all get evicted from their apartments i mean that same person i'm talking about also got evicted from her apartment before and i'm like because they couldn't afford rent like rent is something like this too much honestly that's what's taking away our freedoms 
because if you could work any job and that job gives you a sense of security that you know how to handle the job but not only that that it has job security because if they see you performing well they're gonna keep you around and also if you're around the job you could earn enough to be able to earn a living you'll be able to afford rent afford food afford all your necessities and then you know anything else that you want as well but nowadays it's like it's tough to live in a capitalist society i live in puerto rico yeah rent is quite a bit cheaper here than it is over there but the wages are pretty crappy here let's be honest the wages are maybe better in the states but the rent and the inflation is even worse over there from what i observed like come on man it's like the inflation is just going a lot more like if you don't already have a house from a long time ago if you're not living with your parents or family member that takes care of you and you don't have to pay rent to that why do you work a minimum wage job like what's the point to that because yeah you'll end up in the street if you don't work but if you do work you barely could survive to pay rent like there's this youtuber called millennial steam i believe his name is i'll leave his channel in the description below he talks more about this topic in more detail and you could definitely check it out but i kind of don't condone like negative thinking like being hopeless in this situation what i want you to do like despite all this hopelessness that seems to be this topic as well don't lose faith keep surviving keep building up your skills try to develop your skills enough so when you're offered a much higher position job or something that they will pay you more of or something of a niche that not a lot of people are into then you're the go-to guy to do that and unfortunately not everyone is going to be able to pull that off but if you're determined and stuff like that which i'm also determined to be because next year i plan to focus more on building up more skills building up more income because it's been a while since I said to myself, oh, I need to have a job, a 9 to 5 job in order to survive, in order for me to have income. No, I already got rid of that mindset a long time ago of a simple mindset. Ever since I started investing in cryptocurrency back in 2017, I started opening up my mind saying that there's multiple streams of income, there's multiple opportunities to make money outside of work as well. Once I build that up more, like I don't have to work in those jobs anymore and I encourage you to think about that too. Like if you are in a position right now where you don't have to pay rent, it's a lot easier for you to do to get around. But of course, if you have to pay like an extreme amount of rent, it's going to be a lot harder for you to think like I'm thinking right now because you know, I get it. Like it's hard for you to like being able to barely survive and then you having to work multiple jobs in order for you to actually make a living in order to do barely survive today and I'm like because these companies don't want to pay you that much anymore and sure the minimum wage has increased but that's nothing compared to how much inflation has increased how much house prices has increased and you got to open your mind to this realization like this isn't gonna get any better unless you recreate yourself unless you try to start buying assets over liabilities and anything else that could probably build you up that could help you reach your goal so so i do encourage you if you're watching this video right now and if you're stuck in a situation like that try to analyze to see what you can do to eventually improve your life be careful what you spend try to spend as little as possible try to save as much as possible for some it's not easy and don't live in a place where rent is way too high try to live somewhere like a little bit more frugal but you're gonna have to do your research on where you could stay these days that you don't have to pay too much rent there's a lot of different ways around it but the average person may not be able to figure it out on their own sometimes people need help and sometimes people are just left on their own to survive and they say oh you're on your own buddy good luck out there something like that so yeah what you guys think about this whole topic what you think about rent right now how much are you spending on rent every single month if you're living in an apartment and stuff like that you could let me know in the comment section below to see how bad this is definitely subscribe to millennial steam in the description below he has a youtube channel dedicated to these topics how hopeless this situation is but don't give up to the hopelessness there is a way around it but it's gonna be tough for some other people than others especially the people in the bottom but you can't give up uh, believe in god 
uh, as well. Believe that God can take care of you over time, even though you feel that it takes a long time. But in God's time, it's never too late for God. We'll be at the right time. Even though that sometimes we question it, but with God, we cannot really question it. If you believe the Bible, of course. But anyways, that's how I feel about this. Hang in there, guys. Happy New Year's 2023. We're going on to 2024 now. I hope that you will have a happy New Year's. I hope that next year will be better for you. Even thought that the world is going to be worse off. But you yourself, try to make your life better than it was this year if you can. Like, don't give it to the media the propaganda and all that stuff believe in yourself build up your skills do what's best for your life try to make connections with people that will care for you and will help you reach your goals and can help them reach their goals as well but there's always something to do out there never waste time use your time wisely that's all i have to say and until next video guys until next year take care god bless stay cool and i'll see you all in the next video Bye bye. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video informative, feel free to give this video a like and subscribe so you will be up to date with future life vlog videos I make. Any suggestions for life topics? You can also leave it in the comment section below. Hope to see you again.